I said, we are at your feature comic, and after that, we have your headliner. These guys are going to make you laugh. Y'all ready? Come on, come on, stop yelling. Let's see that energy, y'all. Big round of applause. Come on, y'all. Christopher Anthony. There are a few things I want to say before I start making people laugh. Number one, you look around this room and it is full of different people who came from different directions and are going on different paths. We all have in common that we're all in this spot at the same time for the same purpose, to enjoy our evening, correct? Yes. I found that there are three universal things that every single person believes of themselves. Number one, Everyone believes that in some way they are smart. No one wants to think of themselves as stupid. Correct? Yes. The second is that everyone thinks that they have a great sense of humor. They think that they are the ambassador of what's funny and what isn't. Yes? And the third universal thing that I feel most people consider of themselves is everyone deserves to be happy. Correct? Wonderful. So if I say something that is smart and funny and you came here to have a good time, fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Representation matters. So it doesn't matter. We, we say we should not look at people's skin, their age, their sex, regardless, right? If something's funny, it's just funny. A lot of you were hesitant to laugh at some of that until she confided that she was the one who wrote it and all of a sudden you felt like it was okay to laugh. No. If something's funny, something's funny. Okay, sorry, I just like, something happened, right? COVID, like some people lost their sense of taste, some people lost their sense of smell, but like COVID caused millions of people to lose their fucking sense of humor. And we come out of this fucking cave we call our living room and people forgot that it's okay to smile, it's okay to laugh, like, we don't even know how to talk to each other. We don't even know how to respond anymore. So, anyway, I am a comedian, I promise. But I feel like if you don't set the tone early on, I could tell the funniest shit for 15 minutes, and you guys wouldn't feel like it's okay to laugh, even though you're at a fucking comedy show. Awesome. We gonna laugh at this country. Thank you. Appreciate it. So if we don't laugh, it's <laughs> See, there it is. That's one of her universal truths. She knows what's funny and what isn't. Thank you. I just shaved a beard. Like, I had a big beard. For over two months, I allowed something to grow from my body that I had no intention of keeping. Just so I could tell one abortion joke. I'm <laughs> well, that, that was the joke. All right, all right, we're moving. Thank you. I thought I had asthma. I shortness of breath. COVID made us all hypochondriacs, right? That shit's contagious. Perpetuated by the internet and access to it. Anyway, I thought I had asthma because I had shortness of breath. For the last 10 years, I thought I had asthma. I paid $1,400 because I'm uninsured to talk to a doctor about it, two consultations, only to find out I don't have asthma. I'm fucking vain and I've been sucking in my stomach for over a decade. <laughs> the shortness of breath is because of the shirts I'm convinced I should fit in. Okay? We're good. Thank you. See, you make fun of yourself. Everyone's like, that's cool. All right. So I don't drink. Okay? I know that's a weird thing to say. Sorry. Don't shoot me down. Uh, I don't drink. When I tell people I don't drink, they always assume that there's a story that me or my mom or my dad had some horrible drinking problem. There is no story. Everyone wants one, I'm not a Lifetime movie, I'm sorry. I also, like, I don't like the taste of alcohol. It's just that simple. I just don't like the taste of alcohol, okay? I also don't eat mayonnaise. Anyone else? I don't eat mayonnaise. But that, that's because my dad beat the fuck out of me with a mayonnaise jar. <laughs> and my sisters. He didn't hit them, they just joined in. It was like a Thursday night thing, and it's just so much trauma. See, when you are the one suffering, 
it is funny. Anyway, where are my fellas? Can I please get some audience response over here? Pretend you're listening. Where are my fellas? Thank you. Where are my ladies? Where are you? Who has yet to respond? <laughs> Welcome to 2022. That's just basically how it goes out here. Are there any PC police in the audience tonight? It's just like any regular cop. If I ask, you have to tell me. All right, I need to know if there are any like hardcore PC police here because I may or may not be in possession of opinions. All right, I heard we are entitled to them. We are the nation where it's like, Everyone wants to be heard, but no one wants to listen. That's good. Anyway. <sighs> All right. Opi opinions are expensive. They are so expensive, right? <laughs> you don't find out till after you have one and then you pay for it. It's so it's crazy. My friend had an opinion. It cost him an invitation to Thanksgiving. That's right. He is not invited anymore. Yeah. I don't know if there's any video gamers in the crowd. Uh, it's a great pastime, especially when you had no other option. Even better when you have ton and don't want any of them. Uh, so there's the Sony, there's like the, the PlayStation people, there's the Xbox people, and then there's like the PC gamers, the ones who like live with their aunt in a basement or something like that. PC game. The most difficult PC game right now is proper pronoun. Oh my god, it is. That is a rough game to play right now. Most games, if you die, you respawn. You know, play an arcade, you lose a quarter. But if you play the PC game wrong, you lose uh, a job, uh, your reputation, <laughs> your family, access to your own social media profiles. All right, shit just got real, that's fine. If it's funny, please laugh. I wish that I was rich enough to afford an opinion, uh, but not so rich I end up getting sued for it 11 years after I tell someone about it, you know what I mean? Social media is great. I actually don't use a lot of social media. My friends use it for me. Social media, you can say whatever you want. Uh, the only problem is you can't uh, unsay it. That's a, that's a big thing, right? That's why people love to confide in people when they're drunk because they're like, uh, you were drunk, I did not say that, and not at all. And wait, you videotaped it? Fuck you, we're not friends, all right. And now with all these different social media sites, do you guys know that YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are merging into one website? It's called YouTwitface. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna get a profile on there, but some of my friends might. It's pretty popular. We gotta be careful, like we live in a day where like, you can't even communicate regularly. You gotta second guess everything you say. Like right now, you can't say mailman. You can't say mailman, you have to say person, person. <laughs> Who gave you that package? Well, the person person. What person person? Mm, okay. <sighs> you ever notice the people who hate labels are constantly creating new ones? It's like I'm an atheist, pescatarian, non-binary, pro-choice, pro-vax, liberal, anti-racist, but I can't stand labels. Okay, that's fine. Now, this might be funny, or maybe I just am turning this into like a poetry open mic without anyone's permission. But remember nothing else but this, if everything else doesn't work for you. If you only surround yourself with people who agree with every single thing you say, and you avoid anyone who disagrees with you on any topic, you will end up being those 80-year-old motherfuckers who talk to themselves all day. Thank you. Okay, I was, I was expecting more because what I just said is extremely true, but it's a young crowd and what you say is more important than anyone else. I understand. The reason why older people talk to themselves is because that is the only person left that agrees with every single thing that comes out of their mouth. Yeah, okay, cool. And he spoketh and did what's true. Why are so many athletes getting into politics? I don't understand that. Like, you get paid millions and millions of dollars to make a ball go from point A to point B and do that several times. And like now, the chalk goes up and then the talk goes out. Athletes 
focusing on politics is, to me, as absurd as like, can you imagine like a political debate and we're like, I do see your point, I do see your point, Senator, but what's your three point game like? Could you <laughs> talk about our finances while making three point shots? No, that sounds ridiculous. Exa okay, all right, we're good. Bruce Willis has aphasia. Has anyone told Chris Rock? <laughs> okay, I'm just, thank you. <laughs> I guess I'm the only person who checks my emails and gets bombarded with all this other shit that I don't care about. I just want to keep my job. <laughs> Let me open my inbox. Great, thank you. Again, communication is really weird, right? So like I was dating a girl and she accused me of gaslighting her. I don't, gaslighting her. And I was just like, that's not even a real term. You're just making phrases up, like this is ridiculous. <laughs> Communication is extremely important, right? Because like what you say isn't necessarily what they hear. So I'm laying in bed with my lady and she whispers to me, I want you to make me feel violated. She said this, I'm kinky, I get it. I did what I thought any man would do because I thought we were on the same page. So, I tied her hands to the headboard. Consent. I tied her feet to the footboard. I put a gag in her mouth, and then I looked through her cell phone. So, <laughs> I, uh, I felt successful. <laughs> she was like all squirming and very upset. And I'm like, we should have spoke about this before the gag, which you bought. Dating's rough. Uh, you guys know what ghosting is? Yeah. yeah? You go on a date, they choke on the food, they die right there at the table. It's fucking crazy. So, oh my God, right? What, you, what, you didn't know you had an allergy to that? I don't have an every pet. Anyway, uh, see, I said something, you thought one thing, it wasn't that. Welcome to the world, okay. Uh, anyway, ghosting has become so common. I live in New Orleans. This is a haunted city. But when people ask me, do you believe in ghosts? My response? I'm sure she is busy with work. She has a really emotionally needy dog. I'm sure she'll get back to me, you know? I want to come up with a show called Ghost Hunters. For the people in the back. Hi, you guys. Show called Ghost Hunters. We don't look for supernatural beings. We go to local bars. <laughs> Trying to find out why Stacy hasn't called John back in four days. <laughs> we have some very advanced technology where we expose the ghost by opening her text messaging app to show that she runs a message! <laughs> what is this, a fucking seance? I saw three dots. You were trying to reach out to me. I was waiting. <laughs> Just talk to me. I'll talk back. This text messaging feels like a Ouija board. I can't find you. Okay, that's good. You know, it's weird, right? Um, there's things you can't say and things you can't say. Weird. It's a theme. It's like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Communication. Um, like, for instance, my friend Dan. All of the boys were all hanging out. He's like, I'm just going to say, guys, I like to fuck big girls. Her Everybody head. cheers for him. Yeah, yeah, go you, go you. All right, Lizzo, Adele, all that stuff. Great. And then I chime in, I'm like, yeah, I like to fuck little girls. Thank you to walking in right when I just said that. It's all right. So I meant petite. I'm like, I'm a small guy. I don't want a tall girl. I don't want to be like this walking there. You know what I mean? I like to fuck little girls. And they were like, we don't want to talk to you anymore. Be careful what you say. Obviously, not too great at relationships. I ask my married friends for advice. I'm like, you guys been together for 16 years. You got something good going? Where did you meet? They're like, oh, we met in high school. That advice only works if you are also in high school. Now I'm not allowed near any school. You guys get where I'm going with this? I am funny, thank you, I appreciate. The uproarious laughter, usually in a 15 minute set, six minutes of it is just making, waiting for people to sit back down, standing ovation, it gets so crazy. 
Again, you gotta be careful what you say. A few more quick ones. Look, everyone's obsessed with race. You know what I mean? Like Ancestry.com, 23andMe, they're like, how much Native American am I? Is it enough to get a check? Anyway, um, so my friend is 80% black because he lost his arm in a car accident, so. <laughs> Thank you, that's. Look, I'm a Hispanic male. I need to say this, I'm not from Honduras. Thank you, I know where we are. Puerto Rican, from New York, just like Jennifer Lopez. We grew up together, weird story. Anyway, um, look, public service announcement to everybody. White, black, Latino, I don't give a shit. Racial profiling is so wrong. Not all minorities with expensive cars sell drugs. Some of us stole the car. <laughs> Takes five minutes while you are doing Pilates or yoga or whatever. Have you tried selling drugs? You got a network, network, ne it's so crazy. If I went to Yukon, I'll just wait till you're gone. All right, you guys are great. Thank you so much. Christopher Anthony, everyone, give him a big round of applause. All right.